welcome to Mindra once again. I'm Dr. Amit Parekh and we are on the second video of the Ho'oponopono series. Today we are going to delve deeper into the four statements that we have been talking about in the video one on the simple mantra that can change your life. If you have not watched the earlier video, please go and check it out. That's an introduction to the Ho'oponopono program. And these statements that we're going to talk about are actually the technique which is quickly, you know, the repetition, the repetition of all of these. So how do you do this? Well, these four statements are what's going to unlock your personal transformation, your healing, and your reconciliation. It's made up of four simple things. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. And I thank you. Now, why do we need to say these four statements and what are the impact that they have? I mean, it's so simple but they are actually deeply profound. The first statement that I'm sorry, it's all about taking responsibility. It's about recognizing that we, in the grand scheme of things, you know, even if it's not that we are directly at fault, but somehow or the other, we have created this in our lives. The responsibility is not about blaming others. It's about healing and cleansing the negativity that surrounds this issue. And when we are saying, I'm sorry, we are actually acknowledging that responsibility. And this is the core of Ho'oponopono, that everything is interconnected. And when we are saying sorry, we're not just saying sorry to the situation, we're saying sorry to ourselves, sorry to the divine, sorry to the entire energy that is surrounding this particular situation. So that is why the first statement we start usually is with, I'm sorry. The second statement, <clears throat> please forgive me. Now, forgive me is, is quite clear, right? It's asking for forgiveness. But you may ask, you know, I don't think I've done something wrong. The other person has done something wrong. Again, the forgiveness is not just from the other person. It's asking for a higher power, the universe, or the divine, whoever you believe in. You're asking for forgiveness because you choose to let go of whatever has been holding you, the energy that's been holding you, that you're making amends and you are willing to heal yourself whether it was directly or indirectly created, <clears throat> when you're asking for forgiveness, you're choosing to now say goodbye to that thing which has been holding you so far. The grudge, the pain, the resentment, the anger, the frustration. Forgiveness is the key to healing all of that. So the second statement is, please forgive me. The third statement, thank you. It's so simple to say thank you. Please, we say thank you without even realizing the impact that it has. Because gratitude, gratitude is one of the highest vibrations in the universe. Gratitude is the, the opportunity, the ability to grow, to heal, to feel love, you know, or just see miracles happening in your life. By saying thank you to every situation, no matter how challenging, it offers a perspective or an opportunity for personal transformation. It shifts our viewpoint. It allows us to count the blessings, even the learnings. It shifts us in a certain zone where we no longer remain in that zone of complaining, but instead we move to a zone of abundance, of opportunity, of you know, infinite, uh, the universe. Gratitude has been proven to make the quality of life better. So the third statement is where you're expressing gratitude. I'm saying thank you. And finally, I love you because unconditional love is the key in all of it. As long as you give love, you know, in fact, in hope, you can even give love to a room, to an inanimate object, to a person, to a situation. It doesn't matter. It's the positive intention and it's the unconditional acceptance that I'm giving from the bottom of my heart. I'm infusing kindness, empathy, and you know a lot of healing into the situation, bringing that connection together. So simply by saying the words, I love you, there is no mal intent. It is pure, unconditional, blissful love and peace that you're offering to the situation, to the environment, to the person in order to create that change. Now, when you put all these together, it doesn't really matter what order you use. You will find some people start with, I love you. Some people start with, I'm sorry, and the orders shuffle. It doesn't matter because you're finally working with the three main emotions or the three main vibrations 
is gratitude, forgiveness, and love. And when you use them together, you cleanse your inner self, you let go of any negative energies, and you bring about healing in your life. Whether you're using Ho Open Up for your own self growth, for your relationships, or for resolving personal conflicts, these statements are the key to changing the door from you know, being stuck to positive change. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a brief introduction where we are going to talk a lot about how these four statements have been, you know, actually have working together. We'll, of course, go into much more deeper in the following videos where we'll give you the techniques in day-to-day -day life so that you can be using them to bring about change in your own life. And if you found this video useful, remember, you need to subscribe to the Mantra YouTube channel. Give us a little bit of your support. We really appreciate it. Like and comment on the video. And of course, share it with your friends. So remember, these statements are the power to transform your life. Embrace them. Practice them. And see how they create their magic in your life. Once again, saying a big thank you to all of you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. And I thank you. And I hope you all really, really enjoy the video. Remember, subscribe. See you soon.